Hello and welcome back with another informative video and this time we are back with James Webb Space Telescope and its latest discoveries. In this video we will tell you about the latest James Webb Telescope discoveries during the month of September 2022. So let's start one by one. Number 1 Spiral Galaxy IC 5332 The sculptor in the constellation, IC 5332, is located about 29 million light-years away and is remarkably weak and finely balanced. It appears almost face to face from the ground. It is distinguished by its broad spiral arms and small central bulge. It is oriented towards the galactic south pole. The spiral galaxy is depicted in unprecedented detail in this web image. With a diameter of about 66,000 light-years and a distance of 29 million light-years from Earth, IC 5332 is slightly larger than the Milky Way. We can see the symmetrical sweep of its spiral arms because it is unique in that it is almost exactly face-to-face -face with Earth. Only Miris, which operate in the 5M, 28-degree M wavelength range, are sensitive to the electromagnetic spectrum's mid-infrared region. All other web devices operate in the near-infrared spectrum. MIRI, developed jointly by ESA and NASA, was the first sensor to produce mid-infrared images that were so clear that they easily matched Hubble's view at short wavelengths. Number 2 Neptune with its distinct rings the first images of Neptune and its moons that appear below the infrared spectrum have been captured by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. These extraordinary images provide the clearest view of Neptune's thumbs ever seen in detail. The Webb's near-infrared camera captures images in the near-infrared range of 0.6 to 5 microns, which prevents Neptune from turning the Webb blue. In fact, methane gas absorbs so much red and infrared light that the planet is completely dark at these near-infrared wavelengths, except where high-altitude clouds are present. These methane ice clouds have bright lines and spots that reflect sunlight before being absorbed by methane gas. Neptune is roughly four times larger than Earth. If the Earth were a giant apple, Neptune would be the size of a basketball. Neptune orbits the Sun at a distance of about 2.8 billion miles or 4.5 billion kilometers and is the eighth planet from the Sun. Neptune's day lasts about 16 hours, and its orbit around the Sun takes 165 Earth year. Number 3 Red Planet Mars The first images and spectra of Mars from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope were released on September 5th. With its infrared sensitivity, the James Webb Telescope provides a unique perspective on our neighboring planet, supplementing data collected by orbiters, rovers, and other telescopes. The Webb Telescope captures images and spectra with the spectral resolution required to study phenomena, such as dust storms, weather patterns, seasonal changes, and, in a single observation of a Martian day, because Mars is so close. The bright infrared light from Mars blinds the telescope, causing detector saturation. Number 4 Orion Nebula In these images released on September 12, 2022, the James Webb Telescope revealed intricate details of the Orion Nebula as captured by Webb's near-infrared camera. The Orion Nebula is one of the most well-known celestial objects visible with the naked eye. It is also one of the most photographed, making it a popular topic for astronomy and space enthusiasts. The nebula, which can be found in the constellation Orion, is the result of a stellar nursery where new stars are born. It is a component of the much larger Orion Anneal system made up of gas and dust from hundreds of newborn stars. The Orion Nebula, also known as NGC 1976 or M42, is located in the constellation of Orion, south of Orion's belt. With an apparent magnitude of 4.0, 
It is one of the brightest nebulae visible to the naked eye in the night sky. It is the closest region of massive star formation to Earth, located approximately 1,344 light-years away. The Orion Nebula is estimated to be 24 light-years across and 2,000 times the mass of the Sun. Number 5 Tarantula Nebula The James Webb Space Telescope has released a stunning new image of the star-forming region 30 Doradus, also known as the Tarantula Nebula due to its glowing filaments that resemble spider legs. The Tarantula Nebula is the brightest known nebula in the local group of galaxies. Located 170,000 light-years away from Earth in the Large Magellanic Cloud, one of our neighboring galaxies. It is approximately 650 light-years across and contains the most active star-forming region known in our galaxy group. As well as numerous clouds of dust and gas and two bright star clusters. Thousands of massive stars are blowing off material and producing intense radiation as well as powerful winds in the center of 30 Doradus. The Chandra X-ray Observatory detects gas heated to millions of degrees by stellar winds as well as supernova explosions. Three of Webb's high-resolution infrared instruments were directed at the tarantula. When viewed through Webb's near-infrared camera, the region resembles a burrowing tarantula's silk-lined home. The NIRCAM image's cavity has been hollowed out by blistering radiation from a cluster of massive young stars, which sparkle pale blue in the image. Only the densest areas of the nebula's surroundings resist erosion by the powerful stellar winds of these stars, forming pillars that appear to point back toward the cluster. These pillars house forming protostars, which will eventually emerge from their dusty cocoons and contribute to the formation of the nebula. Number 6 Exoplanet HIP 65426b. Imaging an exoplanet 385 light years away is no easy task. But the James Webb Telescope's cutting edge technology captured a direct image of an exoplanet called HIP 65426b that far away. HIP 65426b, discovered by the Sphere Consortium on July 6, 2017 is a super-Jupiter exoplanet orbiting the star HIP 65426. Astronomers have used NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to capture a direct image of a planet outside our solar system for the first time. The exoplanet is a gas giant, which means it lacks a rocky surface and cannot support life. The image, which was captured using four different light filters, demonstrates how Webb's powerful infrared gaze can easily capture worlds beyond our solar system, paving the way for future observations that will reveal more information about exoplanets than ever before. The near-infrared camera and mid-infrared instrument on the James Webb Telescope use tiny masks called coronagraphs to block out starlight, allowing Webb to take a direct image of this exoplanet. Because HIP 65426b is about 100 times farther away from its host star than Earth is from the Sun, Webb was able to easily separate the planet from the star during observations. Because stars are much brighter than planets, taking direct images of exoplanets is difficult. In the near-infrared, the HIP 65426b planet is more than 10,000 times fainter than its host star, and only a few thousand times fainter in the mid-infrared. The planet appears as a slightly different shaped blob of light in each filter image. This is due to the specifics of Webb's optical system and how it translates light through the various optics. That's all. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our channel. Like and share the videos and don't forget to hit the bell icon.